What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, in this video for this week's episode of Tweak of the Week, I'm going to be reviewing a tweak called the HipJot Keyboard. So hello everybody, my name is Mike Cronin from Mike's iOS Help and on this week's episode of Tweak of the Week, I'm going to be reviewing a new keyboard tweak, which is very unusual for me to review any sort of keyboard tweaks, called HipJot. Now this is a tweak that's currently in beta and not available to the public yet through Cydia, um, but I've had the privilege to go ahead and actually test out a beta version of it and in this video today I'm going to be showing it off to you. So after installing it, there's actually no setup or preference panes necessary. I'm just going to go ahead and hop into messages here and you could see that my keyboard is looking a little bit different. So the keyboard that's actually offered by HipJot can be seen right here. You can see it's very unusual looking. It's got a whole different font, even different from my current font that I have set up with my jailbreak. And overall, it just has a very different look. And it's um, also a predictive keyboard and it'll show you its predicted words, which is kind of what Apple does now, but it's in a different way. It's actually pretty cool. And you could still access all your numbers and stuff like that and everything. You could even access emojis. So you can still do all of that, don't worry. But here's the coolest part about it. And I'm gonna turn up the volume for this. Um, especially this is definitely the best part it actually lets you sort of go from key to key I don't know what exactly to call it, but I will show you now So I'm gonna say hello. My name is Mike to my brother here Just like that you saw it right there. I just typed hello. My name is Mike without lifting my finger for any of the individual letters. I only had to do it four or five times, I think five times it was for each word. So pretty much it's a predictive keyboard that will allow you to just use one finger and you could swipe from key to key without even lifting it, which is really cool. I've seen this introduced on other previous phones and Apple's just never really got around to it. Now I will say it does take quite some time to get used to. As you can see there, it took me quite some time to even make out that sentence, let alone probably making out some paragraphs and stuff like that over text message. I can only imagine. Um, however, it's got a it, very interesting and very cool concept and I really like it. It's got its own individual keyboard clicks and it's got this kind of really cool backspace thing. I could just whoop, I could just go like this and backspace it and you could even type individually too. I'll show you now. Just like that. So you could still type individually without having to move your finger from side to side or just with one finger, for example, your thumb. So there's no need to worry with that, but it's got some really cool keyboard clicks integrated as well, as you could tell. And it also offers the really cool swipe to swipe type of keyboard typing. Something I've never experienced before and I'm really liking now. And another really, really cool thing that I liked about this tweak is if you hold down the menu button here, you can actually see by holding down the space bar, you get this whole type of menu looking thing here and there are a ton of options. I have never seen a menu like this with any Cydia tweak before. I think it is absolutely awesome. Just the way that it works, for example, if I want to go to options, I just kind of push over to the left and you can see a whole nother window opens and if I just let go, it just goes away. So it all works based on how my finger moves without removing itself from the screen and when it does, it's all done. And so it just, it works like that. It's very cool. It would be really awesome to see if Apple ever did something like this. Like not, maybe not just add this type of keyboard with the swipe to swipe, but they introduced menus like this. When I saw this, I thought, wow, this is really, really different. So very cool. Definitely like it a lot. Um, but not just the menu really, it's, it's the keyboard as well. Overall, actually typing on this thing does take a lot of time to get used to. I have a feeling these next couple days I'm going to be playing around with this a lot, let alone actually trying to teach myself to use these single swipes. For now, I'm just doing a lot of single types. So, hey, how are you? I can't talk and type. Just kind of like that. Um, you know, it's something I really have to get used to and test out. I do like it a lot, though. I've heard that once you get the hang of something like this, like typing on this keyboard, it works really easily and you love it. And then when you get to a regular keyboard again, you just can't go back, like you're so used to it. So I'm gonna play around with it and see how it is. Uh, but for now, I'd love to share this with you guys as soon as it goes public. So be checking down the description for updates as soon as it does. Um, I'm sure a lot of people want this. Unfortunately, like I said, it's just in beta stages right now, but trust me, there are quite a few bugs here and there that do need to be squashed before this comes out to the public to all of you guys. So stay tuned for that. Again, this is the HipJot keyboard 
for iOS. Pretty cool tweak. If you guys like this week's tweak of the week, please drop a comment below. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys next week.